Hello, Fight fans. Slap Fight CEO JT Tilly here, and I want to welcome you to our 28th event, Slap Fight Championship Turf Wars. We are here in the original undisclosed location in Branson, Missouri, the birthplace of American slapping, where tonight we will bring you a special event featuring standouts from Slap Fight Challenger Series 1 facing veteran slappers who are desperate for a victory to keep them on the Slap Fight roster. These new slappers are hungry and ready to make a name for themselves, but to do so, they will need to get through a Slap Fight veteran, and this is no easy feat in a sport where experience is key. One of the more charismatic competitors on the roster, the Mexicutioner never fails to entertain. This fighter has had bad luck at the barrel in the past with notable losses to current light heavyweight champion Okuma915 and the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational runner-up Black Jesus. This veteran slapper has struggled in the past with stepping violations and has been training toward a better technique in hopes of bringing home his first slap fight victory tonight from Turf Wars. Another slap fight veteran looking to overcome his losses, Scrappy Doo is a Missouri-based slapper with a record of one win and three losses. In his debut, he lost a decision to former professional wrestler Maniac Matt before suffering a knockout to future lightweight champion Raven. During Slap Fight Challenger Series 1, he fought for an opportunity to stay in the promotion, and after selecting Mallet and winning by decision, he looked well on his way. But Mallet selected him for an immediate rematch, which he won by devastating knockout. Outlaw is an Oklahoma-based competitor with a background in mixed martial arts, car jitsu championship, and slap fight. With losses to Runt and the Cannon, this 0-2 slapper is hungry for his first win and a new contract with slap fight championship. These three veterans have their work cut out for them tonight. Challenging them will be three of our signees from the original Challenger series. Black Larry was chosen for the original series, where he called out the concrete finisher and knocked him out in a firefight featuring several knockdowns. With his first fight behind him, he looks to begin a win streak tonight at Turf Wars. Mallet, a recent signee of Team Tank, entered the Challenger Series as the smallest competitor in the history of the sport. He lost his first match, but later that day earned his first knockout victory, a custom he hopes to continue this evening. And of course, Slap Kage, our anime protagonist coming all the way from the great state of Texas to earn his first victory under the Slap Fight banner. It's a battle of Slap Fight veterans versus Challenger Series newcomers happening tonight on the undercard of Slap Fight. Turf Wars. And then later tonight, we'll have a sneak preview of Challenger Series 2, featuring a lightweight battle between D Flan and Slap Zaddy. It's a five round feature fight from our upcoming Season 2. And of course, in the main event, Challenger Series 1 coaches Rocky Moore and Frank the Tank battle for the People's Championship. These two competitors are true professionals of the sport with a combined record that features over 200 rounds of competition. We've got a banger here, kids, so strap on your helmets and get ready for a night of rough lovin' at Slap Fight Championship 28, Turf Wars. A newcomer to the sport of slapping, Black Larry turned heads during the first season of the Slap Fight Challenger Series, choosing to face season one standout, Concrete Finisher, in what became the performance of the night. Larry showcased an iron chin, deceptive speed, and walked away with the first KO victory of his career and a contract with Slap Fight Championship. Combat sports veteran Outlaw returns to the barrel after losing a one-sided fight with Team Cannon's Runt at Slap Fight 25. The Oklahoma slapper has seen great success in the cage and at Karjitsu Championship, but with two straight losses at Slap Fight, he looks to get back in the win column and continue his quest 
for the lightweight strap. The first one is from the Challenger Series. He weighed in at 163 pounds. He is Black Larry. Yeah! You'll be competing against a veteran. He weighed in at 151 pounds. Please welcome Outlaw. Yeah! Your referee is Q Davidson. All right, let's go directly to the barrel here and listen in to the first coin toss. Good to see you. You're a veteran. You'll call the coin. Call it in the air. Heads it is. Okay, Black Larry has won the coin toss. He will have the first slap. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact, but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. And here we are back at the barrel for Outlaw versus Black Larry. And here's your wind up round one. one. Two, three. Oh no, and a wet turd from Black Larry here in round one. We've got a clubbing warning called by lead official Q Davidson. Now that's just a warning. That means if there's another clubbing violation by Black Larry during this match, he will lose a turn. In the corner of Outlaw, top light heavyweight contender Slim Reaper. Slim Reaper, one of the coaches on the second season of Challenger Series. Team Okuma versus Slim Reaper. But for now, here we are in the bottom of round one. Outlaw's checking his placement. And here's the windup. is on his ass in round one. Holy smokes. Wow. Black Larry already up to his feet. Seemingly recovered. And of course, Outlaw with a show of respect on his knee. Wow. Outlaw definitely getting the better of round one. Black Larry looks a little confused here. Here's the top of round two. It's Black Larry's turn to slap. And uh, he looks like he's ready to take a slap, so the official's going to go ahead and remind him it's his turn. And we'll see if things go any better here in round two. Here's your windup. And another club from Black Larry, and this is not a good way to start the match. And of course, Q Davidson calls the penalty, and that means that Black Larry has now lost his third round slap. That is not good. We're going to move into the bottom of round two. Outlaw is pulling ahead on the scorecards early in the match, and that point is not lost on him. He is a veteran, he's got plenty of experience at the barrel. Black Larry a little bit new at this. He's had a five round fight and uh, this is his first feature length fight here at Slap Fight Championship. Black Larry does seem to be fully recovered. And this is the bottom of round two, Outlaw. Oh, good shot. That looked like there was a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a club. A 
Okay, Black Larry stumbled into his corner man, and any time your corner man has to steady you at slap fight, that does count as a knockdown. However, Q Davidson has called a clubbing warning on Outlaw. So that will not count as a knockdown. Just a reminder, only one knockdown so far for Black Larry. And a clubbing warning for Outlaw. One, Bottom of round three. Two, three. Ow! Oh, and Black Larry goes down again, clutching the barrel with his tiny feet. Okay, Larry's struggling to get back up to his, his feet here. Doesn't look like he's doing well. Okay, he's got 60 seconds here to recover and clear the cobwebs. And you can see on his face that he is now recovered. Outlaw just absolutely dominating the first few rounds of this fight. Now that's the bottom of round four. You'll notice Black Larry did not have a round three slap and that's due to the clubbing violation. He's losing this fight. Something special needs to happen here or Black Larry's in trouble. Top of round four, Black Larry yet to score a point. Gonna check his placement here. One, two, three. Oh, and just at the point of impact, Outlaw ducked his head. Well, let's say. And to a lot of people, that would have looked like a club. I, I don't think they're gonna call a club here. A lot of young slappers anticipate the slap so much that they unknowingly duck their head into the slap. It's very dangerous. I've seen hands broken. I've seen guys knocked down with illegal slaps. It's, uh, it's interesting, uh, the danger that that creates, and I, I know that's unintentional on the part of Outlaw. But no problem. Looks like everyone's okay, and we're going to roll right in here to the bottom of round four. Slim Reaper with some last minute advice here for Outlaw. Outlaw is a lifetime martial artist. He's also an MMA fighter and a car jitsu practitioner. He does know how to generate power and he may be looking to end this fight right now, right here. Round four. One, two, three. Okay, and Black Larry stays on his feet this time, but visibly hurt. Almost halfway through the match here, we're in round five. So far, Black Larry has landed one clean slap, and Outlaw has landed three clean slaps. Outlaw's also got uh, one knockdown. Excuse me, two knockdowns, pardon Now, Larry's going to have to pull something drastic off here. Thumb down. One, two, three. Oh, and Larry with a fantastic slap. Rung the bell of Outlaw, and Outlaw didn't mind telling him so. Wow. Good little fight developing here. Unfortunately for Black Larry, there's two knockdowns counting against him. If he were to stagger into his corner man or suffer a knockdown at this point, he would lose the match by TKO. So Black Larry's in a precarious position here, and Outlaw does smell blood in the water. You can see it on his face. He now has an opportunity to close the gap in the scoring, or excuse me, to widen the gap in the scoring here and run away with this fight or with another knockdown, he could end the fight immediately. It's a great position for Outlaw. Good to see him doing well. Outlaw struggled with stepping in the past. You can tell he's been working on that. And so far, so good on the stepping. Here's your wind-up, round five. One. 
clubbing violation. Okay, yes, lead official Q Davidson is calling another clubbing violation. This one is a penalty. And what that means now is we have new life on the other side of the barrel from, Bra from Black Larry. Outlaw will now lose his round six slap. Okay, Larry's again just a little bit confused. He's, uh, it's his turn to slap, but he's holding his towel behind his back. But here we are coming into the second half of this fight. And now Larry's got a little bit of an opportunity here. Let's see what he does with it. One, two, three. Oh, Black Larry with a fat slap. He knocked the cotton ball from the left ear of Outlaw all the way out the right side and into the crowd. Holy smokes. Outlaw's taking advantage of his break here. He's got 60 seconds before he has to take that next slap. Now keep in mind, Outlaw has lost his round six slap. So we're moving into the top of round seven. Black Larry has to end this match or get a couple of knockdowns here towards the end. Being knocked down twice is not looking good for him on the scorecards. His hair looks great, though. <laughs> Outlaw's taking a 10-minute, one-minute break here. All right, here we go. Round seven. <laughs> Black Larry's trying a dirty trick here. He's asking Outlaw to lift his chin. Outlaw says, no way. One, it's not my first time. Two, three. Oh, so he pops him in the ear. That's not good. Let's see if that's a, a violation here. Oh, no. Black Larry has just been charged with another clubbing penalty. And that means that he's going to now lose his round eight slap. This is a horrible news for Black Larry. Great news for Outlaw. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds. Yeah. All right, Outlaw's feeling himself now. Here we are. It's uh, the bottom of round mm. seven. <clears throat> now, at this stage in the game, Outlaw needs to land clean shots. That's all he needs to do. He's got a clear decision win here. Let's see what he chooses to do. One, two, three. Perfect. Good shot. Good power. Black Larry stumbles just a little bit, but stays on his feet. Now, Larry has lost his round eight slap, so here we are. The bottom of round eight will be outlaw once again. You can definitely see the intensity on Outlaw's face. He knows he's got Larry hurt. One. Here's your windup. Two. Three. Oh, oh and Black Larry stumbles into his corner man, visibly hurt, and that's going to be the third yeah. knockdown of the match. Fantastic debut for Black Larry, but not a win this time. And congratulations to Outlaw on a fantastic performance. Outlaw with his first win. Let's go down to the barrel and our host, Dallin Getling. So, we, we do have a winner. It was a, a TKO. Your winner, Outlaw. All right, Outlaw. Get one over here, brother. Congratulations. You did a great job. You did have a couple clubbing violations, but yeah. I noticed one thing that was different from your last couple fights. What was it? No stepping. No stepping violations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the last, yeah, you ran into some trouble last couple yes, fights, right? both fights. Both fights, I struggled with the stepping. 
And uh, I, I worked on it with Rocky a little bit before this fight, and I've been trying to focus on planning. My I was watching you every time. It was very deliberate. That's, that's what you were doing? I misspoke to my But uh, yeah, yes. Turning my feet in and, uh -huh. and pushing up the hill. That way it helped me a lot, man. Right on. And really made the difference. All right. Well, any, any shout outs you want to give right uh, now? I love you, baby. My kids, baby. All right. <laughs> baby, wherever you are, baby. <laughs> All right. Thanks, brother. Good job. Now let's take a look at our fight replay, sponsored by our good friends at M1000 Tonics. Former member of Team Tank, Scrappy Doo has trained with some of the greats but has had difficult time in competition. After dropping two straight matches early in his career, he applied for the Challenger Series, hoping to earn his way back into the promotion. A quick victory over Mallet in Episode 1 quickly turned into a rematch which Mallet won in devastating fashion during Episode 2. Mallet, Team Tank's newest protege, is the smallest competitor in the history of slapping, but he doesn't let it affect his ambition toward the lightweight championship. With a decision loss to Scrappy Doo, followed by a brutal knockout of the same competitor, Mallet feels this rubber match gives him the opportunity to showcase his improvements and grow his record to two and one. Fight. We're going to bring out the first slap fighter. He weighed in at 117 pounds. He fights out of Team Tank. He is Mallet! Yeah! And now we're going to bring out his competitor. He, he weighed in at 113 pounds. He is Scrappy Doo! Click on over to slapfight.live and take a look at all the new merch, plus fighter bios, slap rankings, and upcoming events. You can join the site for $9.99 per month and become a Slap Fight Hardcore member to receive access to pay-per-view events, international broadcasts, and all content deemed too hardcore for social media. It's all there at slapfight.live. Sign up today for $9.99 and support the growth of American slap fighting. The Mexicutioner is back. One of the more exciting competitors at Slap Fight Championship, this Missouri-based showman has had success in MMA, but his transition to slapping has not produced a victory as of yet. 
This Mexican madman has recently dropped from heavyweight to light heavyweight and hopes to retain his slap fight contract and move up in the light heavyweight rankings. Slap Kage of Corsicana, Texas, earned Fight of the Night honors during season one of Challenger Series, but lost by TKO after an incredible match to start his career. Slap Fight producers rewarded the Texas slugger with a contract and an opportunity to make a name for himself tonight at Turf Wars. Fighters, the first one stepping up to the slap fight barrel. He's from the Challenger series, weighing in at 203 pounds. He is Slap Kage! Yeah! Go! Go, Slap Kage! His competitor, this will be his third fight. He weighed in at 227 pounds. He is the Executioner! Repping this bout is Q Davidson. Let's go! Yeah! All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact, but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. And we are back at the barrel. During the break, Hugh Davidson informed Slap Kage that since the executioner had again missed weight, he will sacrifice the first slap. So Slap Kage powering up. He's got the Slim Reaper in his corner. Executioner putting on his signature baseball hat. And here we go. Executioner, the veteran fighter. Again, Slap Kage from Challenger Series 1. One, two, three. Oh, oh not a bad slap at all. Wow. There you go. Okay, it looks like there may be a violation here. Yes. Lead official Q Davidson calling a stepping violation on Slap Kage. Okay, yes, you can see the right foot of Slap Kage move forward during the, during the slap. And uh, unfortunately, that's not allowed here at Slap Fight Championship. So that's a wasted slap there. The executioner has an opportunity to steal this round. He's going to check his placement. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Okay, a nice clean slap from the executioner. The executioner is another fighter that's had a little bit of a hard time with his stepping. Controlling his feet has been an issue for him. And uh, I know he's been working on that. You can see a lot of effort went into it uh, just right there in round, round one. Slap Kage taking advantage of his, of his break. And of course, he's going to put on his glasses. The sanctioning body does allow for the slappers to wear their glasses when slapping, and then of course take them off when receiving the slap. One, Round two. two, three. Oh, a big shot from Slap Kage, and the executioner is hurt. Wow, Slap Kage came to fight. The, me the executioner regenerating. Definitely the hardest slap of the match. Yeah, 40 seconds. Uh. Executioner taking his 60 second break. And he needs to get back to the barrel and land a clean slap.
You can see our photographer, Paul Beck, outfitted by Scrap Soldier, one of our sponsors. They sponsor all of our staff. ScrapSoldier.com. Check them out. One, Bottom of round two. Two. Three. All right. Your executioner with two clean slaps in a row. That's virtually unheard of. Slap Kage eats it. And using that same strategy, he's going to take a nice long portion of his break before returning to the barrel. I think that may be the influence of Slim Reaper. Again, Slim Reaper, one of the one of the coaches for season two of the Challenger series. Slim Reaper versus Okuma. Look for that fight coming shortly from Slap Fight Championship. One! Two, three. Oh, fantastic slap, but again with the foot movement. Oh, no, I see. Okay, Q Davidson noticing that Slap Kage landed that slap with a bent arm, and you cannot land your slaps with anything but a straight arm. So uh, that's going to be both a clubbing warning and a stepping penalty. So it looks like Slap Kage is going to lose his round four slap. That's horrible news considering uh, he's also, oh my gosh, he's also landed the hardest slap of the match. And again, inexplicably, we've got the executioner over here. He's in bad shape. 30 seconds, gentlemen. And I'm wondering if the executioner is going to step back to the barrel. It almost looked like he was hyperventilating there for a second. That's part of the fun of the executioner, though. I love the guy, but it's just so much fun to watch him get slapped. All right, executioner has a chance here. He's just got to land clean slaps. So here's round three. One, two, three. Oh, and he does it again. You can see the hard work he's put in. Now he's got another slap in a row. Again, this will be the bottom of the fourth round. Follow through. Come on. Here we go. Executioner checking his placement. Here's the wind up. And another good. Oh, no. And the executioner with an accidental step. I, they're definitely going to call this one. Okay, we've got a stepping warning for the executioner. Now, it's just a warning again. If he if he steps again, he will lose a turn. But at this point in the match, the executioner has landed three clean slaps. Slap Kage won. And you might have heard... Uh, lead official Q Davidson is telling the executioner it's not a violation, but just make sure and keep your, your slap just a little bit lower on the face. How high or low the slap lands on your face at slap fight does not dictate whether or not it's a club. It's how deep the heel of the hand extends into your face. A lot of fans get that mixed up. Uh, I can tell you right now, uh, we're way deep into this one minute break. And there's some crazy energy in this room right now. Both of these fighters have an opportunity to walk away with a win, and they know it. Slap Kage checking his placement. One, Here's the windup. Two, three. Okay, oh, another yeah. good slap from Slap Kage. Okay, that's a clean slap. He's back on the boards. To go into the bottom of round five if the executioner will come back to the barrel. Slim Reaper taking another opportunity to talk to Slap Kage about his performance. No doubt he's telling Slap Kage, keep your feet planted and keep the heel of your hand at the tip of the chin. Slap Kage's ready to bang. I don't know what's going on with the executioner. 
If you've ever seen the Executioner fight, you know he really feels his feelings. And uh, that's probably what's happening now. He's, uh, looks like he's still competing. He's just taking every second he can to regenerate. And he's back. Very hard to kill the Executioner. <laughs> slap from the executioner. He actually looks confused that he's doing well. Slap Kage's eating these slaps though. Looks to be just fine. Rolling into round six. There's lots of fight left. It's a 10 round scheduled match. And we are in the top, of course, of round six. Slap Kage. One, two, three. Oh, and a nice, hard slap. Wow. Incredible. And the nipples of the Executioner are furious. Oh, no, lead official Q Davidson has just called a stepping violation on Slap Kage. The nipples are completely irrelevant. This is going to be the loss of a turn. Slap Kage will not have a round seven slap. This is devastating. The executioner is landing slap after slap. He's completely controlled his, his penalties this far. He's only had one warning, and he has landed six clean slaps. Five, excuse me, rather. One, two, three. <laughs> and another clean slap from the executioner. Not a lot of power, but uh, in this match, that's not necessarily the objective. We're in the bottom of the seventh round here. Executioner's going to have another slap here in a row. Well, the slap Kage is always in the zone, ready to take the slap. Good form. And here comes the Executioner. With another clean slap. Fantastic performance tonight by the executioner. You're good. Yeah, continue. Woo! Slap Kage's not hurt. He's just frustrated. You can see he's really he's struggling to keep his feet still. The executioner knows he is on the brink of his first victory. Slap Kage in the zone still. This is round eight. Look at the difference in the face of each competitor. Slap Kage very intense. One. Executioner two, confused and three. slapped oh. in the neck. Oh no. That could have been a club. Let's listen in. Clubbing violation. Yeah, it's a club. Ah. Executioner was asking for that penalty, and he got it. And again, that's another devastating call for Slap Kage. That means that now he will lose his round nine slap. He received a warning for clubbing in round three. And so this is his second violation. So this fight is in the bag for the executioner, providing he can stay on his feet and land clean slaps. Slim Reaper trying to hype up Slap Kage, telling him, hey, there's still an opportunity for a knockout here. You've got one more slap left, he says. That is the case. Slap Kage now will receive three slaps before the end of the match, but he will only be able to deliver one. So this is a tough situation. It's 
very disappointing. Very disappointing for Slap Kage. But he's a trooper, he's a warrior, and he's going to stay in the fight until the very last second. One, two, three. Which is coming soon. Because it looks like we've got yet another clean slap from the executioner. Now it's round nine. Slap Kage is going to have to take another slap, but he does have a 60 second break here if he chooses to take it. Executioner has now landed four clean slaps in a row. 30 seconds. This is a big achievement. You can see the hard work he's put in. He's also recently cut from heavyweight down to light heavyweight. Now, he did miss weight for this match, but it was by two pounds. So still astonishing that he's lost that much weight. And he's chasing after a rematch with light heavyweight champion Okuma915. So he may just be one, one step closer tonight. Two, three. Okay, that was another clean slap, unfortunately. Yeah, slap Kage with a flinch there. It's just a warning. Stay in there and take it. It's not going to cost him a turn. It's just a warning, but uh, def definitely a flinch. All right, this is it for slap Kage. This is for all the marbles. We don't actually give away marbles at Slap Fight Championship, but if, the, if we did, this would be for all of them. This is the last slap of the match for Slap Kage. He needs a knockout or this match has been lost. Hard. Someone in the crowd just yelled at him hard. One, two, three. Oh, good hit. It was a good slap, but unfortunately that's not going to be enough. The executioner still has one slap left here. He doesn't need it to win, but just for fun, let's see if he can land it clean. This would be a big win for the executioner. He's been hungry for this win. He's been training hard. Both of his sons are training and competing in mixed martial arts. And they've been dragging their father to the gym with them, getting him back in One, shape. Here it is, the final two, slap. Three. Oh, and it looks like they're going to let that one slide. That's going to be a clear win for the executioner, folks. Nothing but respect. Slap Kage, always a gentleman. And now let's listen in to our host, Dallin Getling. have a winner. It was a unanimous decision. Executioner. Yeah. Oh. All right, Executioner. Now, I think what won that fight for you was discipline because uh, you got uh, some extra slaps in there, didn't you? Yeah. And it looked like when he was landing, not that you were hurt like knockout hurt, but they were stinging. Is that is that yeah, accurate? Yeah, yeah, he hits pretty hard. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> yeah. So how you feeling? I'm um, feeling good. I mean, I've been working on my stepping and my uh, and my uh, you know techniques and stuff. Techniques. So you so you did have some stepping uh, issues before. Yeah, correct? doing it doing it clean. Uh huh. You know, like uh, stepping and clubbing. You know, so. Right. So you've been working on that. Yeah, I've been working on that. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, and, and you've lost some weight too, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep improving myself, and and uh, I think uh, I want a kuma. And uh -huh. uh, if I can't get a kuma, I'm gonna retire. Oh, he's calling. <laughs> he's he'll say it right in the camera. Say who do you who do you want? Uh, kuma. Kuma nine one five. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get him, but you can say it. No, just yeah. kidding. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I don't know. Yeah, I believe in myself, so, man. No, yeah. Congratulations, yeah. brother. All right, take yeah. care. Oh, yeah. Next yeah. Woo! Here's another replay brought to you by our good friends at M1000 Tonics.
This was another full fight replay brought to you by our good friends at M1000 Tonics. Visit their site today and check out the M1000 recovery shot. It's m1000tonics.com. All right, uh, so we are, are here with Mallet. We're not sure what happened with Scrappy-Doo. Uh, I, I do know that he was here. I do know that he weighed in. Uh, we know that he actually saw the doctor, he got cleared. Um, there was actually a report we're trying to confirm with uh, multiple sources that, that someone saw him drive him away. Uh, did, did you hear anything about it? I didn't hear anything about it. I, I think he's just scared, man. Yeah? Yeah, honestly. Okay, because well, th this is not the first time these guys have met. They're actually one on one. And this was kind of going to be a, a rubber match to decide everything. And, and uh, I mean, did, did he seem scared? Did you guys have any conversations? We talked yesterday, he seemed perfectly fine. He seemed a little out of it today, but I didn't think he was going to punk out like that. Well, I saw your warm-up video and got scared. Probably, yeah. <laughs> well, I know you were talking to me earlier. You said you've been training hard. You actually had a new uh, slap technique. You're ready to go. I know it's disappointing because you don't get a win because you didn't, you didn't actually compete. Right. So uh, I guess maybe we can talk about your, your possible next competitor. We, we heard some, uh, we're not, this isn't for sure, but we did hear some rumbling from, do you, do you know who's, who's been talking about maybe fighting you? Yeah, I've heard a little bit of maybe uh, Maniac Matt might Maniac be calling Matt. Matt. That, uh, so what do you think about that? I think it'd be a great fight. Yeah? I'm, you know that? I think it's a I tell you what, I, I know Maniac Bat, and I know he'd at least show up, right? Oh, yeah. So, go! Crappy dude, man, I don't know. Uh, I, whatever you got next to your life, good luck, because I don't think it's going to be uh, part of this. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going. Now let's take a look at a sneak preview of the upcoming Challenger Series Season 2. 12 hand-selected challengers travel to the undisclosed location to compete for slap fight glory. Who will walk away with a contract? Find out when Challenger Series Season 2 premieres next month. Challenger Series Season 2. The 12 of you have been hand-selected from thousands of submissions, and tonight you will face each other to see which of you will be chosen to join the Slap Fight family. The first challenger selected at random is D. Flan. What's good, Slap Fight Country? My name is D. Flan. I'm an amateur boxer fighting out of El Paso, Texas. I'm here at Slap Fight to slap the shit out of people. D. Flan, you may now challenge any competitor from your weight division. The challenger you choose can accept or decline the match, but if they decline, they will sacrifice the first slap in their next fight. Choose wisely.
Slap Zaddy here with a Z from Homestead, Florida, representing the swamp out there. And you already know what it is. I'm here. My best slap resembles nobody's because it's mine and only mine. Y'all gonna learn to hate me. Y'all gonna learn to love me too. But you gonna know, I'm gonna bring it every time. All right, it's the first matchup of Challenger Series Season 2. Slap Zaddy versus D Flan. Let's listen into the coin toss. Gentlemen, good to see you. Okay. Because you chose the fighter, you'll choose the coin toss. Heads or tails? Heads it is. All right, and D Flan has won the coin toss. He will slap first. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. It's the first matchup of the Slap Fight Challenger Series Season 2. D Flan versus Slap Zaddy. Here we go. You'll slap first. In the corner of D Flan, Okuma915, and of course in the corner of Zaddy, Slim Reaper. Round one. One, two, three. Oh, and Slap Zaddy is on his ass in round one. Holy smokes. Wow. Zaddy struggling to get back to his feet. D Flan takes a knee. Oh, wow. Look at the face of Slap Zaddy. He's having a hard time recovering here. He doesn't have his balance. I think the doctor's seen enough. That's going to be a TKO. D Flan with his first win. And Slap Zaddy's going to have to live to fight another day. Congratulations to D. Flan with his first victory. Congratulations to today's first winner, D. Flan. Let's take a look at another replay sponsored by our good friends at M1000Tonics.com. For years, Rocky Moore was known as the bad boy of slapping. With several high-profile performances featuring Rocky's trademark brand of trash talk and psychological warfare, fans loved to hate Rocky until his retirement in 2021. His return earlier this year, however, showcased a new Rocky Moore with improved technique and a new attitude that had slap fans feeling much more supportive of the Arkansas native and his slapping career. One of the most recognizable faces in all of slap fighting, Frank the Tank was the first American fighter to reach 50 million viral views. He's battled the greats on his way to becoming the most experienced slapper on the planet. The Tank became the people's champion with a victory over Young James in 2021, followed by a title defense versus Highlander in 2022. Tonight, he looks for his third People's Championship defense versus his former nemesis, Rocky Moore. obviously for this next and last fight because it, it consists of two guys that are very well known, two guys that are very well decorated, and it is for the Slap Fight People's Championship. Yeah! 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 So we're gonna bring out our 
first fighter. He is fighting on Team Rocky, weighing in at 238 pounds. He is Rocky! Yeah! His opponent, weighed in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Team Tank. He is the current undisputed Sop Fight People's Champion. He is Frank the Tank! Yeah! Our lead official for this main event fight is Q Davidson. Now the coin toss for this main event has already happened backstage and Rocky Moore was the winner, so he will have the first slap. In the corner of Rocky Moore, his teammate, Slim Reaper, they train in Harrison, Arkansas. And in the corner of Frank the Tank, Darius the Destroyer, former nemesis of Rocky Moore. Rocky wants to make sure he knows where the chin is here of Frank. One, and here's the wind two, up. Three. Okay, this match is underway. Not a great slap to start the match. These two slappers have known each other for a long time. You can rest assured there will be a lot of strategy involved in this match. Once enemies, now somewhat friends but still probably quite enjoyable to slap One, the piss out of each other. Two, three. All right, Frank returns fire at the bottom of the first round. Slap was a little bit high. He gets a soft warning from the official, but nothing, uh, nothing official here. Just a, just a warning to keep it a little bit lower. One, Rocky right back to the two, barrel. Three. Rocky cupped his hand on that slap and it was more of a push. And he's getting a stern, a stern talking to by the official. At Slap Fight Championship, you must land your, your slaps with an open hand. You can't lead with the heel of the hand. You can take a look here, and there you see. Now, the tape on the wrist of the competitors at Slap Fight is not to support the wrist. It's so that it makes it easier to see how deep into the face the heel of the hand extends. Oh, and there you go. Uh, line official just corrects Rocky Moore. He had his feet staggered. I believe this is Rocky's 17th fight, so he knows better. These are the little tricks of the trade One, that the veterans know. Two, three. Oh, yeah. Okay, and Frank with a good slap. Frank staying in the pocket. Doesn't like to leave the barrel during his matches unless he has to. Now, Rocky Moore's had a problem with stepping in the past. He's got a new strategy here to stand on the outside edges of his feet. Seems to be working. One, two, three. Oh, and a good slap from Rocky Moore. Okay, Rocky's gotten another soft warning to bring his his uh, slaps down. He gets a little upset with the official and Frank thinks it's funny. Frank has brought Darius the Destroyer along as a corner man because he knows that Darius and Rocky have history. He also expects that Rocky will be playing some mind games during the match. And uh, so Frank brought some back up and we'll see if it works. Again, it looks like Rocky's milking every bit of his break here. Here's the wind-up. Round three. three. Oh, okay, now that was a good slap from Frank. Rocky's got a great hype man in his corner, Slim Reaper. If you've not seen Slim Reaper compete, you've got to find him. He's all over the internet. He's a fantastic slapper, and he's definitely one of the most hype in the biz. Frank wiping just a little bit of blood out of his nose. And then he immediately tries to hide that from the from the officials. Now Rocky clearly doesn't need this break, but he's in the corner for the full 60 seconds here. Uh, these are the kind of things that irritate Frank, and Rocky knows that. He's coming up with all kinds of reasons not to leave the corner here. Look at this. 
Look at the face of Frank the Tank. He's trying so hard not to get irritated, but it, he's definitely irritated. Oh, man. Rocky just milking it here. One, Round four. Two, three, oh! Okay, that was a good shot. Rocky getting a little defensive here with the official. The official didn't even call anything there, and Rocky was uh, almost going to argue with him for no reason. Very close fight here. Frank the Tank, bottom of round One, four. One, two, three. Oh, and Frank with a good shot. St staggers Rocky just a little bit here. Now, Rocky doesn't want us to know that, but look at the face of Rocky Moore. That one hurt. <laughs> and these two guys, they've gone round and round in the past. Now, Slim Reaper told Rocky, stick with the plan, and I have a feeling he means let's just take a, a nice long break here. Wow. Already needs to get on the knee. Oh, and Darius the Destroyer has a lot to say here. He doesn't like Rocky milking these breaks. I remember it wasn't that long ago when Wolverine and Darius had a 27-round fight where Darius used this same strategy on Wolverine. And... Uh, you know, don't uh, don't think for one second that Rocky needs this break. Rocky is a gamer, and I think actually it's hilarious at how much he's irritating Frank. Look at Frank's face. <laughs> but we've got a nice fight going here. Both of these guys have great chins, and uh, right now it's a battle of slapping Two, technique. Three. Okay, round five from Rocky looks good. So far, we're five rounds in. Rocky's landed five clean slaps, and Frank says, hey, come on back here. Rocky's the only slapper I know that takes a one-minute break after slapping someone. <laughs> and Frank's trying to call him back to the barrel here. Rocky's committed to this long break. Look at this guy. This is a fun fight here. <laughs> Frank the Tank standing in the pocket, ready to slap the piss out of Rocky. And Rocky's ready. Here we go. Again, this is the bottom of round five. Pretty even on the scorecards here. Let's see what Frank can pull off. Oh, okay. Frank the Tank with a nice shot. And Rocky blows him a kiss as he leans on the barrel for support. <laughs> All right, we're halfway through the match and not a penalty yet. These are two great professional slappers. They've got a great camaraderie, but let's don't get it twisted. Both of these men want to leave the venue tonight with the People's Championship strap. Rocky almost got ahead of himself there. He's going to go ahead and back away here and st stay on break for just a few more seconds. Frank the Tank, very frustrated. Oh, you can tell Frank just wants to snatch him up. Okay, here we go. One, Rocky with the windup. Oh, and he shoves, he shoves his hand right down the side of the face of Frank. That was a little bit sketchy. And he's going to get a stern talking to here by Q Davidson. He's telling him, you've got to land your slaps flat. And that's what happened. He just ran the heel of his hand right down the side of the face. Uh, didn't do a lot of damage, but it wasn't a slap. So a little bit of a blemish there on the fight for Rocky Moore, but uh, still no penalty. Can't quite hear what the Slim Reaper's saying to Rocky, but it does, it does sound like he said, stick with the plan. And I think the plan just might be to throw Frank off of his game. <laughs> Great fight. Here we go. Frank's having a hard time getting a rhythm here, but he is winning the fight so far. Oh, look at him. He's so upset. 
Rocky has five reasons every time he steps to the barrel why he needs to step back away. Frank looks agitated. Here comes a big shot from Frank. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, oh and Frank, oh, Frank yeah. rocks him. Oh, Rocky goes staggering into the official. What I tell you, you're the axe. Oh, man, and Rocky takes a knee, and he pulls his mouthpiece out of his mouth, and he knows better than that. That's definitely going to be a knockdown by Frank the Tank, who stays in the pocket and stares Rocky down. A little bit of blood in the mouth of Rocky Moore. You'll notice Frank never takes his mouthpiece out. Rocky should not be doing that. That's a little bit sloppy because inside your mouth during the match, there's a lot of swelling that happens. And removing your mouthpiece allows your mouth to swell in places that it doesn't feel comfortable when you put your mouthpiece back in. Frank's telling Rocky he can stay down there for a while if he wants to, but uh, I have a feeling Rocky's going to stand up at the last second here and step back to the barrel. Now, what once began as a strategy looks like it might somewhat be coming real here. Rocky's really taking some hard shots tonight. That last one was a big, big shot, and, and Rocky doesn't have a lot of time left here. He's just going to flash his bright red underwear at the crowd, and he's going to have to deliver a clean strike here. Yeah, this time Rocky is visibly hurt. And we're going to see if this is going to affect his precision. Checking for the chin here. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we've got a clubbing warning. This is an official warning for Rocky Moore. And he doesn't like it. He's going to have a little argument here with the official. But the decision stands. That's a clubbing warning for Rocky Moore. And Darius the Destroyer thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> it's the bottom of round seven. Rocky needs to step back to the barrel here. Rocky's got his chin up just a little bit extra here. Okay, the line official's going to warn Rocky again about staggering his feet. And he goes back to standing on the outside edges of his feet. The strategy's working for Rocky. It's not a bad idea. Chin's up One, a little bit high here. Two, three, oh, and he realized it at the last second and ducked his chin. Still took the slap, though. My gosh. Fantastic slap from Frank the Tank. He could have stepped right back to the barrel now and wait as Rocky takes another exorbitant break. Slim Reaper, one of the coaches on the second season of Slap Fight Challenger Series. It was Team Slim Reaper versus Team Okuma, and uh, it'll be released sometime in the coming month. Just check back here and uh, we'll give you just as much information as we can. Now, Rocky's back at the barrel here. This is round nine of a 10 round scheduled fight. Frank the Tank's trying not to get frustrated, but Rocky's trying every trick in the book here to get One, under his skin. Two, three. Ooh. Okay, we've got a nice slap here from Rocky in round eight. Not bad at all. It's going to be really difficult for Rocky to overcome that knockdown. He's either going to have to have Frank make some sort of a violation happen, or he's going to have to knock Frank down, and that doesn't look like it's in the cards for him in this fight. So uh, he's got to keep it clean and then just hope that Frank makes a, a, a silly mistake here, which Frank isn't prone to making. Okay, now that was a good, good slap, and Rocky doesn't like it. And so again, we go down to the knee. 
Mr. Warren. Yeah. You're good. That's all right. Where where we could have possibly done that. Don't he moved a little bit, but, you know. Frank is really slapping the piss out of Rocky tonight, and I tell you, uh, Rocky's plan of taking these exorbitant breaks, these really long breaks, is probably not a great idea at this point because now he's had plenty of time to swell inside of his mouth and underneath his eye and on his cheek. So uh, these slaps are going to hurt tenfold compared to how they would have hurt if he hadn't taken all of these breaks. But this is Rocky Moore, and he is crafty, and he probably has a few more tricks up his sleeve here. Frank the Tank, however, still standing in the pocket, stoic. Oh, my gosh, and Rocky again. Darius the Destroyer always has something to say. You can get next. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I've got deja vu. Frank's chipping away at Rocky's resolve here. It looks like Rocky's strategy has turned into a necessity here. He, he is visibly hurt and affected by the fight. Frank looks like we just began. All right, round nine was good for Rocky. That's nine rounds, and Rocky has scored eight slaps. Frank the Tank has also landed eight clean slaps. But this is his ninth attempt. So here we go. One, Frank with an incredible windup. Here we go. And a big shot from Frank the Tank. He's now landed nine slaps. He's got a, a knockdown and no violations. This is a win for Frank the Tank if Rocky cannot get the knockout in round 10. So Rocky takes a knee. And now Frank says, come on, man, let's go. You can see Rocky's clearing the cobwebs here. He's committed to this strategy. But his bell has been rung tonight. 30 seconds. <laughs> Rocky's up. And he's going to come right back to the barrel here. And this is his opportunity to win. Rocky Moore and Frank the Tank. Nose to nose at the barrel. What an interesting and fun fight this has been, but this is it. One, Rocky Moore has two, to make this count. Three. And it was a good slap, but not enough to win the fight. Now Rocky's going to have to take this last slap, and I can tell you he doesn't want to. Unless he somehow convinced himself that he has won the fight. He does have an incredible hype man in his ear here. Frank's getting impatient. He just wants to put this to bed. And this is the final slap of the match. Here we go, kids. Frank checks his placement. Here's the windup. And a great slap from Frank the Tank. That's 10 rounds, 10 clean slaps, and one knockdown. That's Frank's win. And a bloodied and battered Rocky Moore stayed in it for 10 rounds. It was a valiant effort, Rocky, but it wasn't enough. Either way, thank you, fellas, for a great fight. Let's take it down to our host, Dallin Getling. All right, we do have a winner. It was unanimous. Your winner, and still... Yeah! Frank the Tank, the champion. That was that an awesome fight. Yeah. 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 And I tell you, Frank, I think that's the most personality I've seen out here, and that's a good thing. This guy is like a, a teddy bear. He's the nicest, sweetest guy. But you're having fun with it. You guys have a, a little bit of back and forth. This isn't the first time you fought either, is it? No, it's not. But it's been a while. Yeah. How long has it been? Uh. This was slap fight four, I believe, and we're on 28 now. So 24 events ago. About four right. years ago. Yeah, I think at least. I think maybe five or six. Anyway, it's been a while. And uh, same results, though. Even though you guys have had, you, you've both progressed quite a bit. You respect him a lot. I know we talked about beforehand about your training, and, and you, you really respect him. But you did it, man. You did yeah. it. 
he uh, is definitely a different person than last time I faced him. I give him yeah. credit because I felt magnificent with all of my training. Uh huh. So much better, and he just stood there and took them all. Well, both you guys did. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. I was thinking that you guys, the fact that you went 10 rounds hitting each other like you were, and I, I was thinking about your nickname. I mean, you look like a take yourself. I mean, you were just taking them and eating them. It was great. Any 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 shout outs you want to give to anybody? Uh, yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to Chris Pittman, my coach. Um, magnificent trainer. Anybody who's in Fulton and wants to come train with Team Tank and Grit Fitness, come and do it. Yeah! Congratulations, Grace. Good job, man. Let's take a look at another replay sponsored by our good friends at M1000Tonics.com. Well, there you have it, friends. Another slap fight event is in the books. Tonight, we saw the veterans running through the Challenger Series newcomers in a one-sided display of slapping experience. Congratulations to all of tonight's winners, and here's hoping to see our Challenger Series signees bouncing back quickly from their losses. We saw D. Flan bring home his first win in a preview of Challenger Series 2, which will be available in a few short weeks, so be on the lookout. Frank the Tank leaves the undisclosed location tonight with the People's Championship belt after his third straight People's Championship victory. Congratulations, Frank. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Slap Fight Championship on all social media and be on the lookout for some huge announcements in the coming weeks. Thanks for supporting America's original slap competition league. We'd also like to thank our event sponsors, Pronaverse.store, featuring over 120 supplements and always giving back to the local community. Visit Pronaverse today and get your healthy lifestyle started. Also, our good friends at M1000 Shot, the natural alternative to caffeine and alcohol. Visit M1000Tonics.com and take a look at all the products available to improve your energy and focus. Big thanks also to Boosted Recovery, Impact Mouthguards, House of Gain Supplements, and our good friends at BFC Extreme. We'll see you next time at The Barrel. Once again, my name is JT Tilly, and you've been watching Slap Fight. There is only one. Ooh.